Thank, thank you, Chair. For uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I want to also thank the panel. Now, I really care about a level playing field for retail investors to uh, access the market. And I've been a long supporter of financial innovation and fintech and the shared goal of democratizing finance and making access to the financial system easier for all. So, Mr. Tenev, your company, it boasts that it's helping to democratize finance and is at the forefront of innovation. Can you talk a little more about what Robinhood is doing to push innovation forward and create a level playing field for all investors, while at the same time making sure that those investors are well informed? Absolutely, Congressman. Thank you for that very important question. Uh, the first thing I should note is many of the witnesses and um, and representatives here have stated that it's never been a better time to be a retail investor in America than it is right now. I think the combination of zero commissions, no account minimums, fractional shares, uh, really things that Robinhood has helped make the industry standard uh, have helped small investors and um, and helped level the playing, the playing field for, for people to participate in the markets. Over the past year, Robinhood has released fractional shares, the ability to do dividend, automated dividend reinvestments, recurring investments, so that you could take $1 or $5 and create a habitual investment into a particular stock. Um, and the theme of this year for Robinhood is how do we take a first-time investor and turn them into a long-term habitual investor? Um, how do we make long-term investing accessible uh, accessible for, for people around the country? And we're making huge investments in education and customer support to support that. Uh, we recently re released a revamped Learn Portal. We call it Learn 2.0 with the aim of taking a customer from basic concepts such as what is a share, what is a stock, what's an ETF, all the way through to more advanced concepts. And we're continuing to invest more and more on Learn, as well as um, on Snacks, which is our, our popular podcast, uh, and all other forms of content that we distribute. Last year, more than 3.2 million. I want, to, I want to interrupt you there. Just, I know you have a lot more things. These are these are great. And I know we could probably talk for a lot longer than this, but I want to shift gears just a bit. But I do want to keep talking about the retail investor. And I want to switch to uh, Ms. Schulp. So back in December, there's an article that you wrote um, prior to all these events that we're even having the hearing on today. And in the article, I think that you, were, you said that it's inappropriate to refer to these very retail investors that we're talking about that are using these platforms like Robinhood that we're talking about and referring to those investors as dumb money. I think that's pretty insulting. And my colleague from across the aisle from Connecticut used that term. I think it's insulting. And instead, retail investors are in fact revolutionizing the stock market. So would you elaborate on those views, uh, Ms. Schultz? Absolutely. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, retail investors are often referred to as dumb money by Wall Street. And it's because they don't have access to the same level of research, or some use the term because they think retail investors make dumb decisions. Um, I think it's insulting. I think that the term needs to go out the window. Uh, retail investors are investors who make their decisions based on the information known to them. And we should focus on educating people so that they can understand the risks and rewards of investing. Uh, here, I think the GameStop uh, situation is proof that the retail investors are revolutionizing the market. Uh, no one would have guessed when I wrote that article in December that retail investors were going to initiate a sophisticated short squeeze. Uh, I think the retail investors here are learning, uh, learning by doing, which is one of the best ways to learn. And we should spend effort making sure that people are equipped with the knowledge to understand the risks about being in the market. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, I would like to ask for unanimous consent to insert that letter into the record, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, I just want to look, uh, you know, Robin Hood wrote about the need for, and this is open to anyone, and uh, I guess got a few seconds left, but I'd like for someone to talk about is it possible for clearinghouses and real-time settlements on the blockchain to exist? 
Um, I don't have time for that, but that's something we can come back to at a further point. And Madam Chair, I just, I'll go ahead and yield back. Uh, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.